Welcome back, everybody, to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. All right. Got something interesting today. This is Tasty Cake Coffee Cake Ale from Victory Brewing. And they're out of Pennsylvania. 6% ABV. If y'all have ever, you all should know ta a Tasty Cake. If you don't, then I don't know where you've been your entire life. But, uh,. I guess they must have made like a collaboration thing or something with Tasty Cake because they have the trademark logo and everything. It says locally brewed, locally baked. This very tasty collaboration, yep, between Victory Brewing Company and Tasty Cake puts the delicious flavors of Tasty Cake coffee cake into a sweet ale with notes of pound cake and cinnamon. Coming in, like I said, a 6% ABV. It's an ale. And let's see online. It says 35 IBUs. The malt bill it has Pilsner, Bryce, which is B R I E S S, and Flake Oat. And for the hops, they used HBC 472. Nice. And it says notes pound cake, cinnamon, vanilla cream, brown sugar. So, oh, always oh, dropping something. <sighs> All right. All right, let's get into it. All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I smell vanilla. That's where I'm smelling vanilla and a little bit of maltiness. All right. Get a little nip of the head there. Ooh. Mmm. Kind of bitter. Vanilla bitter. Like a bitter vanilla. Probably a clear beer, too. Take a look. All right. There you go. You got your tasty cake van there. Here's the delicious tasty cake, the coffee cakes that I, I like them. I, I just don't eat them that much because they're just a little bit too much, too much sugar. What's the other brand? Hostess or Little Debbie's, yeah. And, uh, and then there's Entenmann's. I have a nice coffee cake. Look at that. Not too shabby. The head's already pretty much gone, though. Yeah, it's pretty much gone, and it's not as clear as it seemed like it was when I first poured it, and I'm thinking maybe it's because it's being cold, but I don't know. Not a whole lot of lacing, and it's definitely not as clear as it, I thought it, when I was pouring it, it looked like it was clear, but apparently not. <clears throat> yeah, so, here's the brew. Color-wise, I'd say this is about, uh, let's say it's about a seven. Yeah. Let's go with the seven. All right, time to drink it. All right. Definitely getting a better smell out of the bottle. More, more vanilla than anything, but not too bad. All right. Salud. Hmm. Wow. That's way more bitter than I thought it was going to be. I do taste like the flavors of a coffee cake. I get the cinnamon, vanilla, brown sugarness. Yeah, I get that, but it's like it's really hoppy. Uh, those HBC 472s or whatever are pretty powerful. It's got a hoppy bitterness to it. I get that they want you to know that it's beer, but damn, it's kind of a weird mixture. Off-putting almost. But I do taste like the coffee cake part of it, you know. 
Man, it's almost like they made it with an IPA, though, like a pale ale or something. It is an ale, too, but it's, I don't, I mean, damn, it needs a lot of hops. Yeah. Yeah, that bitterness, woof. Medium body. Medium in the body, it's crisp. Got a zesty, bitter punch in the end. And, I can, and it's got a little bit of a booziness, too. Not exactly what I was expecting. I, I mean, I didn't. I'm not getting any sweetness really out of it. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Wow, that bitterness just it lingers too. Yeah, it's not the worst beer ever. It's not like it's that bad. It's 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 okay. I mean, would I drink it again? I don't know. I don't know. Food wise, something like a food to compare this to have that I think would be enjoyable with this. I'm thinking cheeses. Like a good charcuterie board with some cheeses or something would be good with this one. Or Yeah, or tacos. Yeah, or tacos would be a good mix of that one. So online on Beer Advocate. This gets an 85 out of 100 with an average of 3.71 out of 21 reviews. On Untapped, with over 3.6 thousand reviews, it gets an average of 3.57. Now, as I said, would I buy it again? I don't know. I didn't even buy this one. This one I got when I went to my homebrew club here in Zephyr Hills at the Zephyr Hills Brewery. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, I got lucky that they had an extra bottle when we were doing some tastings. Um, would I go seeking this one out? Probably not. Not myself. And I don't know what the prices are, but if something tells me it's probably too much, but I don't know. I searched for it and couldn't find it, but I did find other victory stuff. And I mean, I'm going by that. It's actually not that bad. I think it was like 12 bucks for a six pack, which that could be kind of pricey. So I don't know. Memory bells on this one for me, for me, memory bells, none. I mean, maybe one memory bell because, but not in a good way. You know, I'm ringing that broken bell there. Uh, craveability for me, zero. That's the bitterness just throwing me off. I don't know. Let me not be so harsh. Yeah, let me not be so harsh. I'll, make, I'll give it a four out of ten craveability scale. I mean, a big beat beer review grade. Like I said, it's not the worst thing ever. It's definitely not, you know, it's definitely drinkable. I think I'll give this one a C minus. C minus. All righty. If you have had this brew before, let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you guys get that bitterness out of the hops? Do you guys enjoy that bitterness out of the hop when you're thinking that you're going to be diving into a sweet, tasty cake type of beer? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you all have enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed drinking it. If so, hit that like button. If you want to see more of my reviews and my uh, taste challenges, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love it if you did. I really would, and I love having all you all viewers watching. It's totally free, too. It doesn't cost anything. And I hope to see you all here at the Dan Bar for the next one. Until next time, salute and happy days.